so when I first got onto self improvement, this was like two, three years ago. I created this routine for myself, and I would follow it as religiously as I could, making sure I don't screw up, making sure I'm at bed at the time I say I'm going to be at bed at, and waking up exactly the time I say I'm going to wake up. And I'm doing all of these like rituals in the morning where I wake up and stretch to get like the blood flowing throughout my body, walk around, get sunlight in my eyes, take this cold shower to wake myself up, go and do my deep work, go to the gym in the morning, make sure I do everything that I can precisely as I say I'm going to do it to make sure that everything is just perfect. Everything, I'm basically leaving no rooms for errors and I'm making sure that my day is as perfect as it could be in order to be productive. I would always struggle to stay focused. I would always struggle to actually stay productive because I would basically, at this before I even created the schedule, all I would do to stay productive is go sit on my computer desk and make myself be productive, which it, it really didn't work because all I would want to do is just go and play video games and stuff, go and scroll on Instagram and stuff. So I basically looked back and thought to myself okay when was the most productive time of my life when were I able to actually sit and focus with zero distractions and I realized the best time for me to do that was in school and it makes sense because you know you go to school around 8 30 or something 8 35 I'd have my first period which would be an hour and a half long and my second period would start around 10 another hour and a half 11 30 is when I'd finish my second period, go to lunch, come back. I basically still have my entire schedule memorized just because it's so ingrained in my head by following this routine over and over and over again for like five, six years straight. So I figured, okay, why don't I just do that? Why don't I just create my own schedule that I can follow day in and day out? So that way I actually have some structure in my day and I know, okay, at this time I'm supposed to be doing this. At this time I'm supposed to be doing that and it works you definitely can take it a little overboard though and i've done it way too many times where i'm following my schedule and i fall off of my schedule where there's one day where i don't actually eat the diet that i'm supposed to be eating i eat a whole bowl of carbs or something i ordered something from doordash and it was like a burger or something which mentally made my brain so much slower than it would have been if i hadn't actually done that and i stuck to my diet Whenever those times happen, typically I'd have something to do right after I eat. I'd go on a walk and I'd just do a little bit more work. Because I would mess up on my diet, I would mentally tell myself, okay, I can't even be productive because I hate all these carbohydrates. My brain is slow and I won't even be able to focus. And so either A, I would just skip my work entirely because I would just convince myself that I wouldn't even be able to focus or B, I would try to focus but because I told myself I wouldn't be able to focus, I just ended up not focusing at all. It made it so difficult for me to just stare at my screen and just stay productive. All I wanted to, to do was just go grab my phone and just go scroll on TikTok or something. That's the problem with these routines. That's the problem with optimizing because you feel like if I'm not optimizing my time, if I'm not optimizing my diet, my routine, my sleep, my workouts, then I'm not going to be as productive as I'd like. I'm not going to hit the same caliber of success that I could have hit had I been optimizing, which you really don't. Because here's the thing, you can have a poor diet and you can still do work. You can have poor sleep and you can still do work. You can have a terrible workout routine, but as long as you're just working out consistently, you are still going to build muscle. Like your routine doesn't really matter as much as you say it does. Like obviously you need to be able to do the work when you say you're gonna do the work, but that's the most important part. Everything else is just like complementary to the work you're doing. And absolutely, if you have like the best diet in the world, if you have the best sleep in the world, you're absolutely going to crush it. You have like a workout that you're consistent and you're going to crush it. But that doesn't mean that if you fall off or if you unoptimize or whatever, you're not as optimal as you'd like to be. It doesn't mean that you're not gonna be productive at all. Like let's say you're supposed to be getting your eight hours of sleep, right? You miss one day because you just can't sleep. You wake up at four in the morning not being able to sleep. You've gotten like four hours of sleep, but you are wide awake. You are just energized at that moment. Why are you going to tell yourself, oh man, I didn't even get enough sleep. I can't actually do anything right now. I'm going to try laying in bed. I'll lay in bed for like two hours. I still can't sleep. So I'm just going to go and grab my phone or something. That's typically what ends up happening. Don't lie to yourself. So rather than doing that, 
you can just basically just take the L, okay? I got no sleep, but I might as well just work since I'm up, right? Since I'm up, I'm, why don't I just go drive around the city because I haven't done that in a while, right? And you can apply that to everything. Your workouts, how many people do you know have the exact same workouts? It is basically zero unless you see people following trends and stuff. Everyone wants to do the same workout because this one influencer said to do this, but that influencer said to do this, so I wanna do this instead. It does not matter. Just pick a workout and stay consistent. It doesn't matter if you're doing push-pull legs. It doesn't matter if you're doing Arnold. It doesn't matter if you're doing upper-lower, if you're doing CrossFit, if you're doing Pilates and stuff, whatever it is. As long as you are training, as long as you're working out, you are going to build muscle if you are eating correctly along with it, if you're getting enough protein along with it, right? So you don't need to be overcomplicating it. You don't need to be saying, well, Jeff Nipford said if I do more than eight sets today, then I'm not going to build muscle. Like, sure, the science aspect does like play a role into it, but it really doesn't affect you as much as you think it would, especially if you're a complete beginner and you haven't been training for like a decade. That is the problem where you think that I need everything to be perfect. I need my diet to be perfect, my sleep to be perfect, when it really doesn't. Because you know you're not perfect. You know that you'll fall off from time to time and you wanna create this perfect routine for yourself, which is fine, right? But what are you gonna do when you fall off? You're just gonna beat yourself up for it saying, man, I should have been more productive today. I should have been doing this, I should have been doing that. And what ends up happening is you just end up falling off of your schedule entirely. Now you've gone a week without meditating. You've gone a week without talking to people because you felt like you felt this need to resort back to your old habits, which shouldn't be the case. If anything, if you do create like a schedule for yourself where I'm going to do this at this time, this at this time, this at that time, take it with a grain of salt, knowing the fact that, okay, this is my ideal schedule that it may not work 90% of the time, but if it works, it works perfectly. My diet, I'm going to stick to my diet as long as possible. But if I slip off once in a while, that is completely okay. I'm just going to get back on and just keep on grinding it out, right? You know Anthony Edwards, the dude on the Timberwolves? This dude's been training while eating Popeyes. And his, his whole team's been clowning him saying, bro, why are you eating Popeyes while training? Like, you need to get your head in the game so we can go and win a chip. This dude is basically leading his team to the finals because he knows how to do the work. Like, that's one thing that I've noticed about, like, a bunch of successful people, whether it's basketball players, whether it's, like, just intellectual people, authors, um, whatever you can list, doctors and stuff. Every single person, there is no, like, one-size-shoe-fits-all for what they need to do in order to be successful, in order to be productive. All you need to be able to do is just do the work. If you want to be big in the gym, you just gotta work out, bro. If you want to be healthier, all you have to do is just eat healthier. Because I've noticed there's basically no formula. There is no optimized formula for you to be successful because there are people who are successful, but they drink. There's people who are successful, but they smoke. There's people who are successful, but they watch Netflix for two hours a day. There's people who are successful, but they're eating Popeyes before every basketball game, right? So there is no right or wrong answer for what you need to be doing in order to be successful. But the one thing that does separate everyone else from the like 99% is that they know how to lock in and do the work when they need to do the work, which is honestly the most important aspect of everything. If you know how to do the work, if you know how to sit down and just work, then you're good. You don't need all this like optimizing bullshit. And I'm not gonna lie, it does low key make your life boring where you're so optimized with everything that you're not doing anything fun because everything that's fun is basically going against your optimization. Going out and hanging out with friends, you basically need to be able to fit it into this perfect schedule of yours and most of the time it doesn't even work. So you end up not even hanging out with your friends. You end up not going out as much as you'd like because you want to be optimized. Whoop de woo. <laughs> it's just you can be more lenient. You allow yourself to be more lenient. So if you want to optimize your life, go ahead and optimize your life. It's going to help you out tremendously, especially if you're starting from a point where you basically don't know how to stay productive. It's going to completely change your life. But once you get to the point where you can't do anything other than optimize your life, that's when it becomes a problem and you need to actually take some time and chill out.